Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I have a slightly different sort of video to share with you. Um, if you don't know this about me already, I am a huge, huge lover of history. I enjoy learning about history in many different ways, whether that be watching documentaries or movies or reading books or going to museums. One of my favorite things to do since I've been like a teenager is to stop off at those roadside historical markers. Do you know what I'm talking about? You find them here and there around, you know, every now and then. And I always thought that that was such a fun way to get a little nugget of historical information about the area that I'm in currently. And I just think it is so much fun. Um, whenever I get a chance, I always stop off at them, read the sign and take in the view. And I just think it is really, really interesting. So my girls and I this weekend decided <laughs> to get out of the house and go on a little field trip. We figured we could do this very safely because we would still be social distancing and we'll be getting outside in the sunshine because most of these places are kind of out of the way places or in parks and that sort of thing. And here in Minnesota, parks are still open. Plus it also gave us a little bit of a chance to do another thing that we like to do, which is road trips. <laughs> so a little bit of learning and a little bit of road trip and it was a very enjoyable day. So of course I brought my camera along because that adds another layer of funness for myself. And also I thought I could share it with you guys as well. And it's so funny because as the day progressed, the girls are like, oh, this is so much fun. We should do this more often. And I'm like, well, you know, we could try to like hit as many of the historical sites as we can in Minnesota while still, you know, following the rules of social distancing and all that, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that's kind of going to be our plan for the summer. Whenever we can, we'll just do a little road trip to wherever we can and have some fun out in the sunshine and learn a little bit more about our great state. So I think it should be really fun. So I would love to know down in the comments when this video is over, what you think of this idea. And if you are interested in seeing more of what we're calling our historical site field trips. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So I will stop chatting and share with you field trip number one. Enjoy. So we are at our first place. This is called Camp Savage. We have a nice little garden underneath it too. <laughs> yeah, nice. It looks like it's coming up. Some of them are starting to come up. Everything's pretty crispy looking still. Camp Savage was a site used during World War II for up to 6,000 Japanese American soldiers who were members of the Army's Intelligence Service. They translated documents, maps, battle plans, and numerous other documents. President Truman called them our human secret weapons. In 1944, the program outgrew Camp Savage and was moved to a larger facility at Fort Snelling. Oh, and then they've got a cute little lending library too. Right out here. <laughs> All right, so we are at the next place here. We're at a Veterans Memorial and they have this cool helicopter. So here's the next one that we have. This is a nice memorial. It's got the American flag. It looks like it's surrounded by a nice little flower garden, which unfortunately is not a lot in bloom right now. 
but I don't know what this is over here. But look at that cool house. Isn't that neat? I don't think I can get any zoomed in. That's like a brick house. Two story. Huh. Interesting. If you go over here, there's another building. Now this looks like like, like an outbuilding, like a barn or something. I won't get too close. I'm not supposed to be in here, I don't think. But here's the other little building. Isn't that cool? Like that one's made of stones and mortar. I bet you that was like um, a cooling house or something like that. That is so neat. And then the other house is right over there. Very cool. All right, so we have got to, to the third place, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, this is the third place. This one is called the Pond Mission, which is not very far from where we just were. It's on this very big rock. Pond Mission. The foundations on this site of a two-story building made by Reverend Samuel W. Pond in 1847. It was used as a Presbyterian mission to the Shakopee Sioux and Palm Tome until his death in 1891. An eight-foot stockade enclosed both the house and the garden, and the house stood until 1907. So this must be the foundation down underneath the rock. And then if you look over here, I think this is part of it too. Can you see that? It's a little hard to see in the shrubberies. There's definitely a foundation in there. I see that. Pretty cool. I love old buildings and I love the remains of old buildings. I think it was so neat. We have stopped off at this cute little park and they have our little train to go on to. Ooh! Choo choo! <laughs>
across the street is a really cool building too. I love that building. Place, which is this really cool brick building right here, which is like falling down, it's so old. Do you see the bricks up there? They're like crumbling out of the building. Up there. There's more on the other side. They're just like barely keeping the roof up. So anyways, it's a very cool building. Historical district. Oh, this is the hardware store. The Funk Hardware Store. It's circa 1880. This was the fire hall in 1880. No. No. It's like very hot. Look at this house. Look at this. <laughs> this house actually has a plaque by the front door as well, but it looks like it's a personal residence, so we're not going to go up there. But look at this house. It even has a weather vane up front, up top. That is so cool. I love it. And it's for sale. You think I could talk my husband into it? <laughs> it's very lovely. It has a wraparound porch and everything. See the porch? So gorgeous. I love it. So there's this cute little church right here. It's called the Church by the River. So adorable. Look at those windows. This is the Church by the River of nineteen thirteen. So here is the next place. It's an old gas station. This thing is so adorable. I love that it's in red and white. <laughs> it's so awesome. It has little tiny fuel pumps. So cool. This was the Minnesota Valley Oil Company of 1925.
This site was donated by Clement Nashier in honor of his parents and grandparents who settled in the Minnesota Territory in 1855. Dedicated to the early pioneers in 1937. That's cool. Wood cabin. Can't go in it. Because there's a padlock on the door. Our last stop of the day was Veterans Park. Here's a little fact about this cannon. Apparently it, it was from World War I and it is a captured German cannon. Apparently back in the day it was sort of a thing to ship them back home to be used as memorials for those who served in the war. And this one arrived in April of 1926. Our very last stop of the day was on the opposite side of the park from the memorial and it was this lovely waterfall. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our little adventure for today. It was really fun learning a little bit more of the history that surrounds us. Um, we had a great time getting outside in the sunshine, even though it was a little cold. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye now. Mm -hmm.